Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a new video. Today I'll be sharing to you on how to access the graphical user interface of the modem slash router or what we call the configuration page of the modem slash router. This is actually applicable for uh, most of the makes or manufacturer or brand of modem slash router. So uh, I have here um, a PLDT home uh, smart LTE modem slash router with the uh, Ethernet cord or this uh, yellow LAN cable which is uh, connected at the back of this modem as well as at the back of this uh, CPU or the central processing unit. Now, uh, I actually don't have a, a, an internet connections right now so I'll be showing you guys that uh, even though we don't have an internet connection we can still access or get to the configuration page of the modem slash router okay now um, the, the first step that we're going to take is to check for the IP address at the bottom normally it's uh, at the stickers so uh, this is actually where you can see that the IP address that I'm referring to so there you go guys so just so you know IP address is actually the internet protocol or it's the uh, unique set of numbers of a device connected within the network such as this modem uh, this uh, computer they actually have their unique set of numbers which is uh, assigned to them so that they can communicate with the other devices within the within the network or computer network now um, normally for a modem slash router 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 is the IP address or the internet protocol address of the, the modem slash router now on this case we have IP address 192.168.1 that one for this um, PLDT home modem slash router model uh, R051 so it comes with uh, with the default uh, uh, Wi-Fi name or the SSID and the Wi-Fi key or the password so as you can see um, we have to focus on this uh, portion first is this actually the the credentials that we're going to be using for us to access the the configuration page of the modem okay now um, these are the, the informations that we're going to put in so again first we have to make sure guys that this uh, LAN cable or the Ethernet cord is connected at the back of the modem and the other end should be connected at the back of the, the CPU or on the computer. We can actually use a laptop computer desktop or desktop computer. Okay, now uh, since we have this uh, computer up or since we have this computer back on, now we're going to uh, pull up a browser. So we can actually use different browsers like Google Chrome, um, we have Internet Explorer, we can use uh, Ubuntu, actually you're probably not familiar with that, but any browser actually will do, so we just have to pull that up. So on, on this case we have Google Chrome as the browser, so we just have to pull that up. So I have this uh, browser up, we're using Google Chrome, now we're going to uh, type in the uh, IP address of course the default IP address of this uh, modem which is 192.168.1.1 now um, some of the uh, modem or some of the uh, brand of modems actually uh, do not necessarily use this specific uh, IP address that we just typed in inside this address bar okay so we know that this is the address bar where we normally put in the the link or the website in order for us to uh, access uh, contents or uh, website now 
uh, after we put that in because uh, I also wanted to share to you guys that um, you know just like as an example or as an example uh, of the net gear which is um, an, uh, an different or another brand of uh, modem slash router actually uh, allows us to uh, access the the GUI or the the interface of the modem slash router with the link not just this IP address but on this case uh, we're going to be using just the set of numbers or the IP address so after we type that in in the address bar just click on enter then there you go so it will take us to the uh, the, the page where we have to put in the, uh, the the username and the password uh, most of the the modems I actually noticed that uh, they have a default uh, username or credentials that we need to put in so we can access the home page or the configuration page now um, I was actually able to change that already so if you would notice guys uh, we're on the page we have here the the field where, where we can put in the uh, password but it doesn't have the, the field where we can put in the, the the username but by default it actually it actually it doesn't actually have the the, the username so so it says here that it's none then the password is PLDT home which is the default password but then again, uh, just like what I mentioned, since I already changed the password, I just have to put in the password. But if you haven't tried to change the password, just put in the, the default password, which is on the sticker. Uh, on on uh, some modem router, it's printed It's uh, on the back or at the bottom for other uh, makes or... Uh, Oh, it's a brand of modem slash router. Now, uh, I can just type in the, the password that I already created. Okay, let me just type that in. Okay. Let's just wait, guys. Okay, because uh, I believe it's still loading. Okay, just, okay there you go. So this is the, the the home page now. This is the configuration page with PLDT home modem slash router. We can just uh, skip. So once we're on this page, just skip. So uh, there you go, guys. So this is the, the the configuration page that I'm referring to. As you can see, we have the uh, the the Wi-Fi name or the the wireless network name which is PLDT underscore home underscore E9825 so I actually didn't change that it's still the default Wi-Fi name or wireless network name but the password as you can see I, would, I, I changed that so it says here it says here that it's still uh, that it's now CHAMP or CH or capital C HAM 101P then a yeah, exclamation point so, so any password that you're going to come up with it'll show that uh, here okay so again these are the the tabs of this configuration page so if you wanted to uh, see the uh, options like if you wanted to check the options for rebooting this mo uh, this router or this modem router we actually have the options to turn it off without uh, you know uh, unplugging the the power cord at the back or if you wanted to restore and you wanted to use the the default username or password then you can just click on it and so on and so forth so these are the other page or you can see the you know the the, the Mac address the IP address so the MAC address, by the way, guys, it's also uh, a unique identifier of the device. It's actually a combination of letters and numbers, okay? So there you go. So these are the uh, IP address that I'm referring to. And uh, just make sure, guys, that uh, if you want your Wi-Fi to be, uh, I would say, listed, if you want that this.
enable in your household make sure that it's enabled otherwise they will not be able to to see or detect the uh, the, the wireless network name even though you have a uh, you have it uh, configured already so there you go guys um, actually there's another uh, way of accessing this page or this uh, graphical user interface wirelessly but I'll be discussing that guys on my next video and uh, I really thank you guys for staying and I hope that you guys learn from this uh, video though it's short and again uh, I appreciate you that you guys um, stay up until this video ends so uh, for those who haven't uh, by the way for, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel please don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, like and share the video peace and out